Thanks for joining this quick how-to video series, Mobile Publisher Onboarding and Success, brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we'll go over the distribution requirements you need to consider before releasing an app on Mobile Publisher. App distribution consists of distribution methods and distribution types. Let's start with the two distribution methods, fully managed and binary upload. With the fully managed distribution method, Mobile Publisher builds, uploads, submits, and helps with approval through your store accounts after you submit the app. With the binary upload distribution method, you're responsible for submitting App Store listing information, submitting the app for review, and releasing the app to your users. If your team has previously managed mobile apps through the app stores, binary upload could be a great option and provides access to additional App Store Connect and Google Play Console release features. If not, choosing fully managed might be the best distribution method. After choosing the distribution method, you'll need to consider the distribution type. You can choose between public or private distribution types. Before publishing your app, you need to choose the right distribution type based on your use case and the guidelines set by Apple and Google. Public distribution is the best option if you want your app to be publicly available through the App Store or Google Play. And it's ideal for organizations that want to reach a larger audience. Private distribution is the best option if your team has experience managing mobile app rollouts, have end users on managed devices, and need to keep the app private. This type of distribution is ideal for organizations that want to keep their app exclusive to a select group of users. If you're thinking about private distribution, keep these technical aspects in mind. Apple requires an Apple Business Manager account for each country where you wish to make the app available. For Android apps, Google requires that you have G Suite enabled for their organization domain and that the app is only available to users who are part of that same G Suite organization. There is no beta app provided with Android private distribution and customers will need to utilize G Suite and Google for work in order to make the beta and final app version available to end users. Now let's think about your business requirements when choosing your distribution type. One, will you distribute your app to a company or a specific group of people? Two, Will you distribute your app to hundreds of users or thousands of users? Three, are you able to grant Salesforce access to your app stores? Four, do you have experience with app publication through app stores? Let's take the company, Austin's Apples, as an example. They have 1,000 users. The company grants Salesforce access to their app stores, but they don't have experience with app publishing through app stores. In this case, their best option would be to leverage public distribution type and the fully managed distribution method. Jasmine's Secret Juice, on the other hand, has only 50 users. The company grants Salesforce access to their app stores and they have app store publication experience. Their best option would be to use private distribution type and the binary upload distribution method. Apple does not approve every app intended for public distribution. If your app is not approved by Apple for public distribution, there is an alternative distribution option called Unlisted option. Unlisted provides you the ability to distribute to your end users, but the app is not searchable via the web or within Apple's App Store. The app page link can be simply sent to end users for download and installation purposes. Google is typically much less stringent when it comes to public or private guidelines, and so customers have the ability to choose which distribution type suits them best. With these insights, we hope you're well on your way to releasing your app on Mobile Publisher. For more information, visit help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.